Hey guys, as most of you guys know, I've been working on my debut album, Evil Angel, for quite some time now. This quarantine hit, obviously that's affected it and pushed it off even more, but I wanted to do something to get the ball rolling and to give you guys a little bit of a taste of Evil Angel. So this song, Oblivion, was a song that wasn't gonna be in the 10 minute short concept film for the album anyways. So I thought, why not make a video specifically for this song? And I happened to live with a cinematographer and my other quarantine buddy Audrey and me started producing this concept I've been getting advice from all of my usual crew been able to like create this music video with a crew of three people having a distant crew as well we wanted to make a video obviously that quarantine style was only shot in like extremely desolate places where nobody else was I wanted to do like a four elements video basically I go to these four specific desolate places where I can manifest the love of my life to come back to me for one minute through some kind of ritual I feel very very, very fortunate to be living with two creative people that are able to help me bring this story to life. This is a drone. We're about to practice a shot. So we're just gonna do it in the parking lot of our house. So I'm about to FaceTime my stylist, Jarrett, and we're gonna talk about looks for the video. Hello. <laughs> For this video, I wanna do four main looks. Each one of them is gonna coincide with the different element locations. We should definitely do a mobile for the desert, I feel like, right? I'm down, I'm definitely down I for that. I feel like it'll be like really strong if it's like the white sand. Yeah, you know I've always wanted to do a look. Yeah, it's time. I feel like if we go all black, it'll be like all about the silhouette. I started buying all this poochie stuff on eBay and Real Real, and so I wanna do a poochie look, but I'm just not sure which location. I got this dress, and then I have this little shirt. I like Oh, that's nice. Yeah, I love that. I think it's kind of going to feel like prairie, like goddess. So not the dress. No. <laughs> okay, this girl, she has silver body paint. I feel like that could be kind of cool. Yeah, I love that. If I can pull it off doing it myself. Okay. I feel like I want to incorporate the cult of girl symbol somehow. I wonder if you make it like almost like three-dimensional in the middle. Like almost like a soft sculpture kind of. Oh. All right. Well, I think that this sounds really good. Thank you, Jerry. We got all this chicken wire and a hula hoop. We're about to build a giant cult of girls symbol for the desert shot. It's really satisfying, truly. Okay, we're getting there. It needs some support. What? It's getting there. We've accepted defeat for now. It looks so sad down there. <laughs> so right now, I am testing out makeup looks for the music video. And obviously, since this is a quarantine video, I'm doing all my makeup myself. And this is going to be for the desert look. So I was thinking for the Mugler one. Did you see the test I did the other day? It was kind of that Hollywood. I was thinking of doing that. I haven't done like a red before. We haven't done a red lip since Fight Like a Girl. Oh, we did do a red lip on Fight Like a Girl, didn't we? The first thing we're doing is tomorrow is is the poochie one. And so mine is more pinks and oranges and hers has more like purple accents. Because they're gonna be a lot of like up close shots. It's a kind of a lot of wides actually. Because they're doing more wide shots. Think about how everything's gonna wait all together. For you, you just juicy and turn on. If you want it to be glossy, just like do lip balm. The lashes I always use on you for strip. Uh-huh. The last thing is the silver because we're doing that shot Saturday night and we have a full day Sunday. Is the glitter gonna not come off my face? Coconut oil. Coconut oil. It is almost 12 a.m. night before shoot and I am trying to learn choreography that Miss Sierra sent to me. So this is the hat that I'm gonna be wearing today. I got this hat on Amazon and then tinsel and I literally just glue gun it, but it's falling off already. So I had all this leftover tape and hair extensions from when I had them like all year. I like somewhat knew how clip-ins should be formed because I had them for so long. I literally put them all together and sewed all the clips on. We'll see how it looks because it's not cut and I don't know how to cut my hair. Today we're just shooting in Elysian Park, which is literally 10 minute walk from me. So my hair is in, looks okay. I'm gonna have a hat over it, so it's fine. Now we're gonna do the first look that Tony was teaching us how to do on FaceTime yesterday. And it's gonna be like pink, orange, dreamy vibes. Okay, so I so far, skin is done. Eyes are done. I maybe need to blend this contour a little better. Finished looks. Hers is a little more lavender. Mine is a little more red pink. Very intense. Might be intense in sunlight, but we shall see. Practicing poses right now. Kneeling. That. Fashion hat. 
This is the coolest thing Super I have fun. ever come up with, truly. Scratch everything else I've ever done and just <laughs> only about my cat. So the first scene we're gonna go shoot is in a field and representing the element of earth. And in this, I'm gonna be digging up um, basically a cult of girl symbol and that's what's gonna manifest my lover to be back with me. See you guys there. Here we are at our first location, gorgeous temple. During this quarantine, I have gone on a lot of nature walks. I found this location and I had never known about it before. It's so beautiful here. Hey odds. <laughs> that keeps breaking. My nails have all broken off and we lost the cult of girl symbol. Okay, but it is stunning right now. We just finished day one and tomorrow we wake up at 5 a.m. 5 a.m. Me probably earlier because I have to get ready. We got some really, really beautiful shots. I'm very, very excited about it. Good morning. We are on our way to Malibu. It is 6.30. AM. We're here on the beach in this scene. I think I want to like convey the emotional part of this story. There's a big wave! A big wave! That rock shot cut a little bit short because the tide got so insanely high. I'm gonna get in the water actually now and do the ritual dance one more time and have some close-up shots of me and my lava. I'm a wet little bird already. And the tide is really high, so we only have about two takes. Can I get it? Is it good? Woohoo! What do you want us to do? Take naps. Why? Okay, so you can be your best selves. We wrapped at the beach. The last shot was hilarious. We literally got out in the middle of PCH, ran out to the beach, and got a shot, and I was full ass out to all of PCH. <laughs> and then the sheriff pulled up, because it was like a no parking zone. The sheriff pulled up right as we uh, finished the shot, so we got it. Now we have a four hour break, and then we're doing the night shoot, the roof shoot. I am about to paint my whole body silver. Whoa. Oh, like the tin man who's gonna go to Times Square and busk. I'm like scared of myself right now, but hopefully it'll be cool once I'm in the light. We're on our way. I look insane. We'll see how this reads on camera. I don't know. So the shots tonight did not go as planned. We're not like renting out places, so it's very run and gun. The location tonight was this parking structure rooftop thing in downtown, and we had visited it already, and like, literally no one was there. So we thought that we would get away with it, but alas, we did not. There was a security guard, so we weren't able to shoot there. Basically, we just like ran into a lot of issues. It's hard being literally three people moving around with that amount of equipment. I also didn't know if I loved the silver body paint. Yeah, we'll see. I might use it for some Something else. We're gonna try to get that piece of the storyline, which was supposed to be air tomorrow in the desert as well. We have a lot of stuff to get tomorrow. I still have silver. I've got most of it. Oh gosh, you can really kind of still see it though. I'm gonna go to bed now. I will see you in the morning. Bye. Good morning. It is the last day of the shoot and I am glue gunning some pasties because I might have a look that might need them. Now we're gonna go pack the car and leave. See you in the desert. Lancaster. We rented a plot of land that looks like a desert for $10 on Airbnb. <laughs> the storyline we didn't end up getting last night, we're gonna just do in the desert. And actually it makes more sense because originally we were gonna do it on the rooftop and it was gonna be more urban, but the rest of the music videos in nature anyways, so it kind of makes sense to just keep it all in nature. Natural! Yeah, keep it 
all natural. The one thing about this plot of land is there's no place to go to the bathroom or like plug in anything. So, which we love, which we love. And we're gonna be there for like eight hours. So, <laughs> Also, our electric <laughs> pump doesn't even work to blow up the balloons. <laughs> so, we're just getting these silver shots. We're not trying to get last night already. We're just gonna get it here. <laughs> right now, God bless the person who got the equipment from because we're gonna get an extra day. So, tomorrow we'll shoot that scene. We found this really cool barbed wire kind of situation. It actually works because we put the thing that we made onto it. So now it looks like this decrepit thing that is just like in there already. We're leaving Lancaster. <laughs> we got the air shot. <laughs> we, missing two other setups. We're probably gonna cut one. This video suddenly became a four day video. <laughs> it was supposed to be a two day video. Quarantine time. It's not real, so. Wow! Fucking light. We learned a lot of things today. <laughs> things have not gone as planned since the beach shot. And there's just been, you know, so many unexpected setbacks. Like today, the wind was literally 20 miles per hour where we were supposed to get three different setups and we ended up getting one, which was the one we were supposed to do at nighttime the night before. I think everything's happening for a reason. It's all gonna be good, but we do have to do one more shoot day. All got back here at nine and like we're sitting out there for like three hours trying to talk about options and the only one we could come up with where we'd be able to get all the shots we wanted, be in the middle of nowhere and not around anybody is Bombay Beach which is like two and a half hours away. We're driving to Bombay Beach. We're gonna get up at six and drive there and we're gonna get this Mugler look. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good morning. We are on our way to Bombay Beach. We are the salt of the sea. What are we doing right now? We are uh, getting a rental car because another car has broken down. <laughs> All right, crisis averted. The car broke down. Now we're in a rental car. We are now a couple hours behind. We have had a lot of, a lot of, Mercury's not in retrograde right now, I don't think, but it certainly feels that way. It's the Salton Sea. What is the Salton Sea? The Salton Sea is a lake that went wrong and now it's deserted. We're five minutes away from Bombay Beach. We haven't seen another human or another car or even a train for miles. Who is this? Someone lives in there probably, right? Yeah, yeah we can't go in there. What? <laughs> the coolest thing I've ever seen. Oh. <laughs> I want to shoot a whole music video right here. So we found this cool cube. This is where we're gonna do the main ritual scene. This place is so crazy. And action! Woo! <laughs> Everything happened for a reason. This is going so amazing. I'm loving it here so much. Oh my god. It's so hot here. Yes! Get it, girls! What did we just do? Wrap the music video! Woo! Guys, I'm so excited for you to see this music video. It took four days, but everything happened for a reason. This location was insane, and I'm so happy that we ended up getting it. And truly, like, not a soul in sight. It's insane. It's just here all the time. So, very well. Now we're driving back to LA, and I'm so excited! Yay! Now it's back to <laughs> but now I have a video to edit, so I have stuff to do. I would be locked in my room anyways. I definitely think my look today was my favorite look for sure, by far. I'm sure there's gonna be shots from today that are my favorite, for sure. I think that today was like, felt the most true to like the vision that I had. Even though we removed a lot of the production design elements, which I'm really happy about actually. 
We were supposed to have these like silver orbs originally, but we went to a place that was already so production designed, so it's like we didn't even need it. But everything happens for a reason. All the shit that happened yesterday happened so we could be here at Bombay Beach today. So that was it for the behind the scenes video. I hope you guys enjoyed a little behind the scenes look on how it was to make that video in quarantine. I love you guys so much. Enjoy the song and can't wait to give you guys more. Bye. I almost called you from the plane just to say that I'm okay and to see what you're doing. I wish I knew what you're doing.